Hey guys, welcome to Snowbreak Containment Zone and we have here some fast progress tips for those of you guys who just started probably during the anniversary update up to now, this summer update. So a lot of you guys are asking me, how do you do it, Warden? How did you progress or how did you sustain your play up to this far? Okay, we'll start off with energy, okay? Energy is the name of the game. If you don't have energy, again, you can't play. Obviously, you do have to collect some free energy here. Uh, this is daily, by the way. You don't need to purchase energy. Um, you'll just be wasting your, you know, your premium currency here. Also, please check your inbox because most of the time, there are limited supply of energy also you'll be given you know a lot of free stuff most of the operatives are actually interacting with you guys so please make sure that you visit your inbox because there is free energy in abundance in your inbox okay i will discuss with you not you know the things not to do in a separate video this one is the things that you should do, okay? Okay, so off with the, with the free energy. Next up is do the free stuff. Okay, collect free energy. Also, do this. Presence patrol. Consume presence, collect all of these rewards because all you have to do is just play. Consume presence with all that energy that you have, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna use it. So most probably are going to be playing the game and consuming this and don't forget to co collect all of it. Okay, also, during a patch, there are trials. So either it's a skin trial, it's an operative trial. All of these guys, please take note, don't miss some of them because they are materials that you need for level up. They are, um, like for example, for the new operative, it's going to be Digicash. Um, there's a lot of things here that you need to collect um, just to, you know, just to supplement your play. There is a silver buck as well because you need a lot of silver buck. You should have a lot of silver buck in this game. Also, do the daily check-in. Okay, don't forget, check in daily because the rewards are going to be here. Again, do the free stuff, okay? Also, guys do all of your dailies and weekly stuff okay so claim all of your dailies you complete this every day because at the end you'll be getting digicash um complete this daily dailies usually take around what if i don't do the other things just do the dailies it would take me not even five minutes for the day so by saying that Please do your dailies. These are your weeklies. You have your weeklies and seasonal. So do this because these are really for Digicash farming, which you will really, 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 really need in your progression in this game. So I did make a separate video on Digicash farming. Um, I'll put the link up there for you guys to check it out. It's more extensive than this one. This is your fast progression guide. Okay, next up is don't forget to do your main story. The main story, guys, is what unlocks all of the content in the game. So chapter one up to, I already completed this. This is up to chapter 13 with a special Operation Midnight uh, chapter here. Plus... You do have some hard stages, which I think they haven't finished yet because this is only up to 10, while your normal is already up to 13. Okay, finish your main story because your main story unlocks content. And also, guys, your main story unlocks content. Uh, no, no, not, not content, rewards. Sorry. So rewards, especially if you're if you are beginning this game, you will need a lot of resources because again, you're gonna have to progress, you're gonna have to upgrade a couple of operatives, and just just not just uh, three, probably have a safe six because you'll be needing two teams eventually in some of the content. So 
these are materials that you will need so this one and also this one again these are a lot of freebies and i tell you guys when i began this game i you will need most of these this carbon automatic plate and this quantum cell quantum cell is used for neuronics and carbon atomic plate is used for upgrading your gun we'll go to that later but again these are very very rare resources especially if you're starting out this one too the ultimate certification again um let's go to go straight to the shop because i think the shop is where we will do most of our time here okay this is basically your shop guide um so that you won't fall behind what are the best items to shop daily okay daily number one is going to be your fiber axon your fiber axon is going to be part of your neuronics materials this is available daily okay uh trust me this is daily um this one the fiber axon only the monopolar fibers however and your certification and your synthetic particles usually appear at random so most of the materials here appear at random, except for the fiber axles. Let's uh, comp uh, buy these. I still buy these because I'd like to farm as ahead of time. Because, again, I'm expecting new operatives coming every month. So I do farm. The farming is going to be crucial because some months we do have two operatives. Like this month, we have a free one incoming six days from today. So I like to farm these because this helps me in leveling up my um, operative. So that is important for regular supply. For your underground... Hmm. Okay, nothing much here unless you really need this. Uh, the ultimate certification is actually good. This one, the carbon atomic plate. This one is... This refreshes, I think, every two weeks, if I'm not mistaken. So please farm these because you'll need this badly um, when upgrading your weapons. Neural Sim Shop um, Quantum Cell. This one is refreshes in every week. So get this as well. The rest, upon need, don't get copies here of your of your of your operatives, please don't get just get this okay so if you need fiber axon you could actually get it here but this is this is not limited this is free flowing so if you need more you can buy here um i would suggest you save up your currency uh for synthetic endorphins okay so for your circulation hub which we have a lot this currency is actually going to be recycled once you summon so this currency is a byproduct of your summons um again buy as needed do not buy ahead of time and also for the shop i you know highly uh, suggest you prioritize these ones the summons the summon tickets the echo covenants the mod the modding agreements not the weapons because the weapons um you can get this in the banner i haven't gotten any weapon here it actually costs too much the tickets really help me in supplementing my summons so please do not buy the guns um unless if you really want to um you know be my guest but the guns you can get them in the banner okay quality rationing this one i, I actually uh mentioned uh, in my previous video for the digicast farming the most important here is going to be your ticket summon tickets again one two three four then a quantum cell and the revision application these are good buys in this shop okay the rest are dependent on what you need if you still need resources that you need to upgrade some of your weapons or ops then you can buy from here depending on the need do not buy ahead of time again logistics uh no just buy according to need the composition if you have extra okay if you have extra 
if you have fully um, manifested your ops, you can decompose copies of them here. Like for example, now, then you can buy other ops here. Um, that you haven't fully manifested. Unfortunately, the violet ones, I already am full. And I don't have any use for them. I don't know how I'm going to be converting them for the meantime. But again, convert your ops here. Weapon exchange. Okay. My tip for weapon exchange, if you're not... If they are in excess of, you know, two copies, then you can... Um, recycle them and buy them here one weapon is actually 10 pieces of weapon component so for you to buy one weapon here okay take note that you can only buy a weapon here if you have one copy of that weapon already if you don't have any copies definitely you can't buy that weapon here so have one copy if you're not if you plan to buy the other copy you'll need to recycle or decompose three copies of orange tier but do not decompose them or recycle them after you've tier two the weapon okay that is most important because i fell into the trap before okay uh this one this one is a nice shop to have because these are past four star weapons that you might want to get depending on what you need uh weapon parts these are weapon parts that from you know were available in previous events that they're making available in the shop right now <clears throat> i have all of the accessories this one the silver buck is actually a good source of um, no no this one th this item the silver buck and the conversion this is a good source of silver buck okay that is what i meant you can actually farm these daily in your dailies okay if that makes sense okay farm these in your dailies which are here okay so you get get one every day <laughs> so you farm them farm them daily because eventually again i'll go back to the shop you will be you can actually buy them here exchange then you buy them here got it okay so <laughs> exchange you can actually exchange sorry exchange the cube here um to buy these no 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 buy the cube here if you have extra of these sorry the these ones you get from the employee benefit <laughs> sorry sorry so employee benefit you can buy extra cubes the cubes you can farm daily once um and you can buy your silver buck here for extra silver buck in case you need more okay i hope i didn't confuse you there but again that is it so again comment down in comment section if you you know if you have any comments on um what you need and how you're going to be progressing more details probably specific to your own situation okay moving forward we have limited shop tutorial okay as in any shop more or less the shop will be the same every time the only time that it would be different is going to be the look but the items and uh, what you're going to be purchasing is going to be the same okay so for this one the unlimited uh, i would suggest you go for these these are the logistics basically for the current op these are the logistics for the second op that was rerun like for example now fanny starshine these are her logistics again guys uh, i would suggest that you farm this based on what you need uh, the logistics for the limited part these are your priorities okay because you are mostly new players um carbon atomic plate is going to be for your weapon upgrade quantum cell is going to be for your neuronics upgrade revision application is going to be for your last slot in your logistics these three are a must you must you must um clear out this one no excuse clear them out because you'll need them they're 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 orange tier um also going back to the orange tier 
Um, this one, the Manifestation Echo Covenant, is a must because these are tickets for you to summon. Opal vouchers are for your furniture, and the Cold Blade Scope is the limited accessory that I mentioned that is available for the gun right now. But again, these three, if you are a beginner, are a priority because these are level up materials that are very hard to find. Second priority would be monopolar fibers, um, ultimate certification, and their uh, downgraded versions like the hydro hydrocarbon plastic, advanced uh, certification. Also, fiber action is here. Again, farm these. You'll need a lot of these eventually if you have a lot of operatives. Elite combat record are good. Um, they are the last priority among purple. Okay. Uh, going down, you have silver buck as well. Synthetic particles. Again, these are musts because um, you will need them really in developing your ops. Okay, guys, so that is the shop tutorial. Um, again, most of them are very, very important because um, you are going to, understandably, you're going to have a lot of ops in the future. Okay, so um, we do have this one. You have your memory chip bundle. These are actually used every day I do consume two. So confirm two because you could let's go to your personal file. Um, max daily is going to be 12. So the 12 is only good for two operatives with two copies each. What I mean is two shards each. If you want to, since you have extra, extra given at the start of an event, your memory chip, what I do is I get shards for at least three. I don't go with four because when you go with four or more, you're going to be spreading your resources thin. <laughs> so ideally go with three because this one, the memory chip that they give out, it's not going to be forever. Uh, you have to be smart with what you are, you know, uh, or who you're using it um, on. I'm going to go with Katya Dawning here. So, you got to do this every day, guys, because farming for shards is a way of life in Snowbreak. So, this is my second priority for Fenny. And my third priority would be life. Because I'm going to take life to M4. So, that is it. So, basically, three, if you have extra memory, memory chip. Go for three at most. Don't go with four. Do not spread your memory chip thin because, again, it's 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 not going to be good long term. Okay. So moving to our dorm, we do have some bonuses here. If you take a look at um, some of the girls here, let's go to Mauxer's room. Uh, again, you have to... Do this as part of your dailies as well. So, where is she? She got lost? Oh, there she is. So, Moxer, if you view her story, her affinity right now is 50 because I already opened most of her story. Um, I opened this already. So, her affinity is at 50. Okay. Affinity is very important because it increases final damage by 5%. So final damage of all exosuits of mouse are increases by 1% for every 10 levels of affinity. This is actually applicable for all of your ops, especially the ones that you're using. So prioritize affinity for the ops that you are using do not prioritize affinity for ops that you're not using unless you want to because you like them but in terms of functionality eh, go with the ones that you're using okay um we're near the end guys just bear with me a bit so when it comes to the banners the banners i would suggest you go for the hundred percent especially if you're free to play, low spender, unless if you're willing to spend much, 
you can actually gamble with the 50 50 percent uh with the 50 50 with the 50 percent because again the rate here is higher compared to limited but again if you don't get if you don't get the designated op in this banner you will have to roll again to get you know let's say for example it's 80. if you don't get uh katya here in 80 let's say you get fenny here you'll have to roll again <laughs> if you don't get uh, what do you call this if you don't get if you don't get her within you know uh, 1 to 79 you'll get her guaranteed at 80 but that's a total of 160 pulls already versus the limited special okay which is 100 pulls and is guaranteed although the you know the the the, the rate uh pull or the rate to get her is actually low so again, to guarantee everything and so that you won't have any problems or anxieties in pulling, go with the 100% banner. Um, that is a sure win for you guys. Okay, and lastly, in which I will give you guys another video for this, is level up the ops that you are currently using. Don't spread your resources thin because you won't be able to clear some of the stages if your your ops are actually at a low level or they're not leveled up well so again focus on three up to six build your teams three up to six focus your resources on them i'll do a separate guide on how to determine how to decide on how, what to level up what stats to select which to prioritize we'll do that in the next video that's gonna be a longer video or as, as, as long as this one or i don't know probably shorter i don't know but again guys that is it those are my i think those are 10 tips for fast progression i know it's a lot but it will really help you in a small way every day and it's cumulative because your effort is going to make you have a better gameplay in the future. So again, guys, comment down. Subscribe, please, if you haven't subscribed yet because this helps the channel a lot. Follow me because I'll be bringing in a lot more, you know, beginner guides for those who just came in. And thank you guys for staying this far. Take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden and I'm out of here.